In today's video, I will be showing you how to set up and install GeForce Now on your Windows 10 PC or laptop. For those that don't know what GeForce Now is, it's a program made by Nvidia that allows you to stream your favourite games to your Windows PC or laptop without the need of having high-end hardware. You can stream your favourite games from your favourite game libraries like Steam, Epic Games and also Origin and others. So it's time to take a look at GeForce now but before we get started don't forget to like the video if it helped you and you enjoyed it and also subscribe if you want to see more videos like this. The first thing you need to do is click on the link that's in the description below and you will end up on a page that looks like this. We now need to click on download and you then need to click on download next to Windows PC and we now need to go save file. As you can see there is an option for Chrome browser. I did do a video on this so click on the link that's in the description below if you'd like to know how to set up GeForce Now on your Google Chrome browser. Once the download has finished we now need to run the setup file. You now need to agree to the terms and conditions and press agree and continue if you do agree and you will then end up with a window that looks like this and this is what GeForce now looks like. On the top left hand corner we have our menu where we can select our games library and settings. In the top right hand corner we can log into our GeForce now account. You need to go ahead and sign into your Infidia account now. Once you have signed in we can now go ahead and select some games that you would like to play. As you can see, my library's already detected Fortnite, but you can go ahead and click on Sync Your Games. You will then be able to sync your Steam library. If you click on the Sync button, as you can see, it's now popped up with a window, letting us sign into our Steam account, which will then sync all our Steam games that are supported by GeForce Now. I'm not actually going to go ahead and sign in, since we are now on the settings page as well, it's worth selecting your server location. As you can see, mine is currently on auto. You want to select a server that's closest to you. So for example, I would just select EU Central, that will do. And then for streaming quality, this will depend on how good your internet is and how much internet you want to allocate to GeForce Now. So depending on which quality you choose will depend on how much data you need to use to stream. So as you can see it's currently on balanced. We can go ahead and select competitive if we want but as you can see it says it will use approximately 6 gig an hour. Data saver however will only use 4 and balance will use about 10 gig. If we go on to custom you can actually select a custom streaming quality so we can change the max bit rate to custom and then you can go ahead and select 50 if you wanted we can also change the resolution we can select 1920 by 1080 and the frame rate we can select 60 or 30 and you can then deselect adjust for poor network conditions and also fee sync if you want to so it's now time to go back to our games if we click on the top left hand corner on the menu again we can go to games and we can now go ahead and launch one of our games. As you can see I currently have Fortnite in my library because I've not synced up any of the libraries. So I'm going to go ahead and launch Fortnite now and we will see just how well Fortnite performs on GeForce Now. Depending on what membership you have as well will depend on how fast the game loads. I am on a free membership which means I will probably have to wait in a queue before I can actually jump into game. You now need to allow the firewall for Infidia GeForce if it does pop up for you. Okay as you can see Fortnite has now launched and it has actually given me an option in GeForce now to save any highlights within Fortnite. So you can select what video clips you would like GeForce now to capture. I'm just going to leave it on the default options and then press let's go. I'm now going to just quickly jump into a creative mode and we will just take a look at how well the game actually performs. And there we go, as you can see I'm now currently in Fortnite on the creative mode and the graphics actually looks 
pretty good, I must admit, especially since we're streaming the game. As for lag and stuff, it's not too bad. It, it is bearable. I mean, I could adjust a few of the settings to make it run a lot smoother than what it actually is. But, you know, it is what it is. Also, I forgot to mention that when you do launch like Fortnite, for example, it will pop up with a window asking you to sign into your Epic Games account, which will then load up your Fortnite character. So I hope this tutorial did help. If it did, smash the like button below and subscribe for more computer sluggish tutorials.